Hey guys, I am in Melbourne, Australia. It is so awesome to be here. Yesterday I flew in, it took me about two days to get here. So super, super jet lagged, but I am now in my apartment in Melbourne. It is so cute. And look at this breakfast that I just made with mango macadamia nut. I feel really bougie, but anyway, I'm gonna be here for three weeks. I am doing uh, some Nutcracker performances um, and yeah. studio just uh, gonna start my own warm-up and try to get all of the cranks from all the travel out of my body <laughs> so I just finished um, rehearsal teaching and dancing I'm just getting used to the freeds and the fact that they die like halfway through my variation but yeah that's what I'm doing I can definitely tell I'm jet lagged but I'm gonna take yoga tonight and hopefully that'll reset my body another day I'm gonna go rehearse. I just did my warm up at home, and then uh, today I have some fun cross training plan. I'm gonna run a little bit, and then I'll take Pilates. Um, it's kind of nice when you dance full length ballet because you don't have to cross train as much. Um, but since we're just doing the kind of Western version of the Nutcracker, it's the pas de deux. So I'm waiting for my partner to get here. So I'm just trying to like stay in shape as much as I can. So. That's what I have going today, and I think I'll meet up a friend um, from my old community in Moscow who actually happens to be in Melbourne tonight, so yeah. not been filming a lot because the place that I'm guesting um, they really tried to keep the studio just like a video phone free zone um, but rehearsals are going great my partner Alex is amazing and yeah we're about to move to downtown Melbourne for the shows and yeah this time in Melbourne has been absolutely amazing I mean look at it it looks like summer it is summer here um, which is really fun to be in a green space in December so take a look at where I'm at happy dogs So I am filming this video with my sunglasses on because I, um, a couple days into my trip into Australia, one, the policy for filming in the studios is really strict, two, I came down with what I thought was COVID, wasn't COVID, actually turns out I got bit by a white-tailed spider. So I started having like this like mega reaction and yesterday I woke up with my face like completely swollen and my whole body like swollen and like basically going into anaphylactic shock like I couldn't breathe. So like rushed to the emergency room, they gave me some drugs. Um, this is what my face still looks like and this is after taking like steroids, um, antibiotics, etc. I'm going on stage tonight and tomorrow and then I will be back um, in the US with my health insurance and everything. Um, everyone here has been so kind, so supportive, um, just not the way that you want to do a guesting on my part because I felt terrible that that happened yesterday. Anyway, all good, kind of, not really, but just gonna finish these two shows and Wish I could be like 100%, but I am not able, so I'm just gonna be able to do as much as I can. Um, and that just means doing what I know what I can do. So anyway, I didn't get a lot of footage from Melbourne, um, but loving you guys so much, Prima friends, and hopefully I'll share with you guys my first Christmas with my um, new family, and we'll spend New Year's with my parents in Austin. So yeah. Okay, I <laughs> love you guys so, so much. Um, 
Hopefully next trip to Australia will be a little bit better and I won't be bitten by a poisonous spider. That's just so, so crazy that that happened. But yeah, uh, hide your kids, hide your wives. The spiders be coming out for sugar plum fairies. survived the performance that was probably one of the hardest performances of my life but I had a great partner and um, my face is reacting so hard to the makeup but yeah I didn't get any video of any rehearsals or anything but I have video now <laughs> yay congratulations <laughs> So Royal Ballet, okay, day three of the allergic reaction. Um, I somehow contoured my face into looking normal. Uh, that was such a hard show. Um, wasn't for me my personal best, but I feel like with my partner it was really good because he's so amazing. Um, and I'm just proud of myself for going out there and not um, quitting, <laughs> even though I could have like thrown in the towel. Um, but yeah. It, I'm so grateful to be here in Australia and get to work with Christine and Ricardo and um, to learn more and more about what it means to be confident um, when you feel afraid and when you feel weak um, and trusting that you, you can get out there and you can go in front of people even though it's really hard and you feel really vulnerable. Um, but I really love dancing for the audience this year and I hope to be back soon. And I really wish Christine and Ricardo all the best for their future and it just means so much to me to get to be here for one of their last performances and um, they gave me a chance when I was so young and now to be back here is really really special. So you guys know all the story is I'm not dead yet and once again another year finishing with a nutcracker, a different version, different city, different partner um, but the same feelings and an attitude of gratitude for this incredible job that I get to do. Good morning, it is my last day in Australia. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night with my knee in like so much pain and I started pushing on it all of this like nasty yellow gross stuff started like oozing out anyway <laughs> needless to say I'm really excited to be going home to the US for Christmas sad that this trip in Australia was a little bit dramatic um, but I hope I can come back and I hope that I can get the right medicine to get better. Um, the swelling has gone down on my face a lot. I'm still quite swollen in my legs. Uh, but yeah, definitely a very scary <laughs> experience. Mm -hmm. 